better. Hope it's better. So, is the stream better? Okay, good. Yeah, I did a quick reboot. Glowfish, how are you doing? Thank you for the thumbs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Morning, Elizabeth. We back. We are back. Check, check, back again. Nope, this way. So, as I was saying earlier, I've had one of those days where we've worked until the start of the life feed. We're actually late today because life. Um, hope you're not finding any more uh, scorpions in your house, glowfish. Molly, your painting and I think Linda Gary's is in Stone Coats' area, but they're out of town, so as soon as they get in, they'll sign it and send it to you. What up, Whenever? Nice, very nice. Had a rough day at work. I'm sorry. I will try to show you something beautiful. I'll do my very, very bestest. Um, in the meantime, have y'all ever changed out a doorknob? That may be a really basic question, but... I can't figure it out. That it okay. Hey, have you signed into uh, Zenit before? Like, yeah. Do you do they have a so recurring returning customer sign in? Yeah, I think it's a lift uh, email. So okay, while I'm setting this up, let me tell you my conundrum. Hey, man. So. We decided to get a new doorknob that lets me put in a code for people that come to visit so I don't have to like keep lending out my key, right? It's just a regular, like has a handle that comes out, latch door. But I got one that is also a latch door thing and um, but it's got like a code on it. It's probably the same one I always is. And the inside will work, but the outside won't turn at all. I have no idea what the problem is. Jeff and I put it together and took it off and put it together and took it off like seven times. And I don't even know what deity to pray to to get a doorknob to work. Um, Robin, I saw your email and I was trying to find one. A lot of the greens I have are emeraldy, but is Philadelphia green? It's kind of like a turquoisey green, right? Right? Home Depot guys are good with that stuff. I think the spring in it is doesn't fit right either. I don't know. Want to pull all of my hairs out. That's how frustrating it has been today. So what are we going to pour? What are we going to pour on? What are we going to pour of? I haven't even planned it out. Take it back. Well, I came from Amazon. <gasps> I have a penny. Shouldn't this already be in here? Yeah, it should, but... She's paying my credit card, but none of it's in there. Nope. Let's see. It's Austin's. Yeah, it's not the per I'm sure it's operator error and I looked at all the YouTubes. I'm going to have to reevaluate what's going on with it for sure. Meantime, I'm going to redo this one. And we just got it in like this afternoon. So we were trying to put it together. And then of course they're on like the time zone where they're closed. 
now and have been for hours, I'm pretty sure. Uh, something like that should be open 24 hours a day. Right. For your door. Well, it's not even like, I had it, like, a put. it's the fingerprint and all of it, and I set that up, and it just won't turn on the outside. I have no idea. And also, it won't, like, latch all the way in. Like, you know that, what is it even called? The tongue of the door is all I got. I don't know. But that little part that sticks out, so when you turn the knob, it goes in, doesn't go in all the way. No idea at all. So, let me get some spray paint. Yeah, because I don't want them looking at nothing. The striker, that's the word. What up, Julie? So, I don't even have a doorknob on my door right now. Jeff and I tried our darndest to no avail. Y'all don't breathe this in. Hold your nose. Now I have a base down. I do have a penny. I put it back in my pocket, I think. What's up, y'all? I know. Sorry about the smell, y'all. Moo basically is going to have to stand guard because I don't even know if I kept all the parts to the old doorknob. What's up, CJ? So anyways, I said all that to say, cheers. Let's get our pour on because we need some art right now, right? Hi, Judy. What's up, Cheryl? What's up, Connie? Everyone. Do you want me to log in on the computer and do it? I don't understand, it's, it's expiration date. I have it on there, but then there's a little cross thing What's up, Nicole? Oh, that's a sweet red. That's different. Okay. 
So let's pick some colors. What do I want to do? Definitely for a dark color, I like a bright gold, and y'all know which gold I'm going to use. Evil laugh, evil laugh. Um, is there a blue that we've liked lately that I could incorporate into this? What color? This color. What's up, Tammy? Maybe something. I haven't used diamond blue in a while. Yeah. So let's do blue diamond when you grab that. Then I need a pop color. I don't think we have one over here. That's kind of how I decide my colors, y'all. Just, I love blueberry. Is it just dark enough? But I think it'll be nice. So blueberry is rather dark, but I think it'll look good. Pop a fuchsia in there or a lipstick or something. Yeah, it needs a, a bright color. This, this is not letting me finish this. Literally. Coral. Fuchsia. I wish I liked green. I don't think we have a broken. Cheryl, thank you. I know, blueberries are one of my favorite blues too. And we just got another shipment of this in. So I'll do these, white. I still need a bright color. Gold can't be my bright color because it'll take over. What is this? Cranberry. The color of your shirt. Well, that's kind of this color. But I just don't want it to look too red, white, and bluey. So. Maybe a bright teal. Where's that green seas from yesterday? Is that too in the area? Do an orange. Let's see what I've got over here. Orange Crush. This is way too Auburn colors. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Miss Patel. Yellow autumn colors. So I have yellow over here. Y'all think copper, huh? So I have copper. This one happens to be by Just Resin. I'm not mad at it. So we'll take the gold out. <laughs> so I've got green seas, copper, blue diamond, and blueberry. Y'all think these? No, it's not a good. I'm thinking the green seas will brighten it up enough to what I'm thinking of. I would do saffron, but then it would be Auburn and we can't have that because Alabama. I was thinking it needs a yellow too, but y'all know. I may have to retire blueberry because I think it may get lost in this background color. It's give and take here. Sandy, I knew you'd be down with the roll tide. I'm not alone. All right, let's make some color, I mean some resin, and then we'll take it from there. 
So this canvas is something. I want to say it's like 12 by 24, if I may be so bold. Um, Judy, I'm almost out of bananas yellow, so I don't want to use it. So, for the sake of just because, let's go with eight ounces of resin to start out with. And if that's not enough, then I'll just employ Sir Jeffrey to make up the difference. Add gold and black. Um, thank you, Julie. I'm putting a white in, so. Okay, so when I pick out my colors, if it's not like a huge piece and it's only one layer, my complete strategy for picking out colors is find a color that I like that accentuates the background. In this case, it was blue diamond. And then I know I want to have a metallic, like a metal in every pore that I do, whether it's bronze, copper, gold, silver, aluminum, whatever. So that is coming to us in the form of the copper. Then I need either a black or a white. I hardly ever do both. So in this case, I'm going to do stone coats white. And then I need an accent color that I figured I would use this teal for. So these colors look good. And then you guys have also requested yellow. So we're adding that one in too as well. So I always have a white or a black, some kind of metallic metal color, a dark shade and a light shade, always. And I think that gives people something to look at. It creates depth and dimension in the piece and is just kind of how I do. Emerald is kind of dark. Um, Don, there is one on Art Resin's website. There's a calculator. But the thing about using a calculator is there are so many variables like the temperature, how cold your resin is, the brand of your resin, how thick you want your resin, how much heat you use. There's so many things. And I think the art resin one kind of over exaggerates. Well, that's any exaggeration is over, but it exaggerates a bit because I used it to do a countertop one time and we had like three quarters of a gallon left after we were done with it after using their um, baby new, baby new. calculator. What's up y'all? Look who I found. It's a bee. He looks like this. <laughs> I was just telling him our frustration with our door lock. Yeah, I don't, it doesn't make sense. Well, I love sense. using stone coat resin. I'm just gonna eat some ice cream, just be quiet. You're always a weirdo. Look at the baby ice cream cup. You can use any calculator. I mean, with stone coat, it's about the thickness of art resin. Um, you gonna put some yellow in there? Just a little bit, and I might mix gold into it. I might use gold instead of the yellow. It just needs a brightness, I think. Do you think that the yellow is too much? I don't know. It might look good because it might be un it might go underneath and do that fade with this color and that, and then it might go well. Just put it in there. Shoot. That's what she said. And, and you guys, if you've ever installed a door handle. Everything is that's what she said. Like, like we had to call we, a truce. We would have not even, like, it was too much. We would have stopped saying it. 
Um, everyone's <laughs> saying hi. Did someone tell you to shut up? I oh. don't like the yellow. Oh, that person. Um, uh, my night's awesome. I just ordered some food. That's why I was doing off camera. Gold, not yellow. Mint green. Yay. I have faith in you, E. <clears throat> Looks like you might need some more revel. Make it work. Make it do. Make it do. Make it work. Wow. ATD. Fam bam. What's up, Jeff? All right, I'll ask the yellow. I'll ask the yellow. But. No, Cheryl, we didn't. We uh, we had to do this live thing for you guys. <laughs> um, this thing we do. I think it's just something that we're we're just not doing right when we put the uh, mechanism together. I don't know how, but with my cowboy's cup. Dead bolt. That's what I have on it right now. Because <laughs> there's no doorknob. Nope, it's all willy nilly. Nilly willy. I think I want to do um, those colors tonight, but I want to. Um... Mm -hmm. I want to do a little different. What are you going to pour on? What if you did an under string pull? Like, let's say, put put a white down and then put a bunch of colors, or maybe a bunch of colors and then white over it, see, and then take a string and pull it underneath, so then it, it maybe it, it'll grab that and pull it and go under. What do you guys think about that? How fun would that be? It'd be, because you're not, you're not taking any, you're not taking it off. I wonder if it would move it around underneath and then make something amazing. Oh, I got art jeans on. <laughs> Everybody knows it's a resin artist. They're like, do not wear clothes that you don't want to get resin on because you literally one little piece of resin on it and you're like, no, I guess I got art jeans. And then you have like 14 pairs of art jeans. Yep. Yeah, Cheryl, I think I might want to try that. Maybe just do like two colors. I don't know, that might work. There's a white board already ready to go right there. Please do more tints. We can do some tints on that one. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what we can do. We can do a white, do a white base and then just make like two or three tint colors, Ooh. like fun. Maybe like a red, yellow, blue mm -hmm. test just to see. Sandy, that's like every every color that I like. <laughs> I don't think I've seen blue flash though, but that sounds like an awesome color combination, but you would have to make a really big piece for that. I love this color. Put them on Lucy. Lucy, here you come. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's what he said. Hold on. We need to just have it like a desk mounted light. You, you can't even see that. It doesn't even look the same. Hold on, it's gonna focus. It just doesn't look the same. Mm -mm. Y'all, it's beautiful. 
It's like the most iridescent turquoise ever invented. What's next? Copper. Yeah. Yeah, see? Oh, and it's a powder. Gorgeous, what is it? Amy Haas. That is Blue Diamond by Just Resin, of which I have in stock at the second. We have it in stock. Tammy Lewis says, Erica, use that blue on my table, please. What table? Are we doing a table for Tammy? She bought um, a TV tray. Next time we go home, we got to take it to her. Oh. She purchased it back when we were in the old loft. Okay. And some coasters, I believe. So this next color is Green Seas by Color Obsession. It is a not shimmery color. I hate calling it flat because it's not flat because it's glossy, but it's not shimmer or metallic or lustery. So I don't know any other way to say that other than flat. Non-metallic maybe? Ugh. Thanks, Marriott. <laughs> I can't. Satin? Yeah. Solid. Thank you, B. Bama coasters. Well, it can be opaque and um, metallic. Like, this blue diamond is opaque. And also metallic. Opacity just. Opacity. A term used to describe if you can see through it or not. On a scale of transparent to opaque. Well, Claire, we're 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 gonna we're asking about. We were uh, we were telling him that he needs to make those and. <clears throat> easier open jars um, it might be expensive for them to do that but um, I think if enough people say hey this is um, it's, it's just difficult to open when you've used it quite a bit and you know resin gets on that lid and on the bottom like it could it could cut you because resin you know it's very sharp if you just pick it up and there's Leftovers from the table. What you got going on? Got a little resin left over just in case I get a wild hair and decide to put gold or yellow in it. And it's done. Ta da! No? Alright. It's called Slick Roads. Mmm. I'm only putting this clear down in certain areas because I want the um, the base blue to show up in some areas, maybe, hopefully, sometimes. Because all of the colors I have are opaque. You um, switch the camera to overhead. Thank you. They are all opaque. So. I have to have some clear down so that this bottom color will show through. Let's see. I have no real thought process for this. It's Glenn's birthday. Happy Kelly birthday, Glenn. Glenn. Oh, from, it's Kelly Quincy. Hi, TD fam. From Kelly and Glenn. It's Glenn's birthday. 
Happy birthday, Glenn. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Okay. I haven't done a pour like this where I had And you control it. We're gonna try to make it well, do something Eva, that amazing. That sounds awesome. That's always good when all the sale goes to the artist. You're in a show where all of the sale goes to the artist. <laughs> Are they accepting people? Because that's awesome. We never get that offer. Robin, what is your question? Help me with some questions, I guess. CJ, help me with some. Yeah, yeah we'll have to do that. What are we doing? My stone coat, this white keeps drying on top, creating a dried layer. I have to break through the paint every time I use it. Have you had this happen? I have had it happen. Are, are you sure that it's... Um, a tight lid. Yeah, that the lid's on tight and zero resin has gotten into the... Is jar? that Tucson Teal? close to the green I'm looking for. Please ask E. Um, I'll bring some out. Just let me get this piece done and I'll bring it out to you and let you look at it. I don't have that many left, but I know I have at least one. <laughs> get this string ready. Where, I don't even know where our strings are. That's a good thing. I don't know where it is. I'm looking for indigo or navy. I have both of those colors. I'm sorry, Eva. Strange. Hope your pup feels better. I'm sure we threw it in a box somewhere. Strange. Peter, where's the string at? Where's it at? Do you know? Oh, we never put those spray paint lids on the website. Caps. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, Sue. Yeah, Julie, we have like all the colors ever invented by colors. And I don't even carry all of them by color obsession. She has more than every color invented. I'm pretty sure she's just over there inventing colors in her downtime. Put too much of this base down. There we go. All right.
Oh yeah, my copper. Hi, Lisa. Yeah, how did you break your arm? Do you have any suggestions when you've done acrylic pour and you just want to put a top coat of resin on top? Did that make sense? Yeah, um, make sure there's no um, silicone. left on your piece because then you'll have divots and that is no fun um are you determined to do that on this floor Yeah, I just didn't know if that was this for like another four. It's fine. I was just wondering. I'm going to put res on top of a table as an oil spot. I tried to sand it, but I think it'd be taking too much off the table. Can I spray paint it? Um, you can. I, I would try to clean it out really well with like um, the 91 or higher alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Kim, it takes like 10 hours for it to cure enough for you can like move it and it won't like run a lot. That's and fun. then, um, like 24 hours, you can pick it up and do whatever with it. Full cure, they say a couple weeks. Rod, you want to know if the paint companies can do a smaller size? Smaller than this size? This is a 10 gram jar. Will you answer? I can't do both right now. Moo, enough. Cujo, go over there, bud. Go find your toy. Where's your toy at? Go get it. Go bring it to me. I'm wondering if ATD Shop can put just resin on tiles so you can see colors better. <laughs> That might be a lot of work, a lot of money would go into that. Yeah, that fur baby, he always wants attention. I found a string, I found a two string, I think it'll work. Nice and, I think a, a little string would be too much. It might, I don't know, this might take paint off though. We'll see. Paula Wall says, this is beautiful, stunning. Y'all are sweet, because I was just thinking that I don't know if I'm digging it.
Formerly rod, I'd pay like $30 for a small size sample of a few colors. Shoot hmm. me an email, Rod. We can um, we can work out something for you. You've been with us for a long time. We don't mind taking care of people that have been with us for a while. Footprint on the right. So good at that. Look at that. Wow. That's so fun. It's a little chilly here. Did that say just resin? Is just resin in the room? the dark blue color sorry if you've already said it the darkest blue is the spray paint we had on there prior the next deepest color which is here in the middle is blue diamond from just resin You guys, look how fun that is. I'm sorry. I wish they could see the vibrancy in this. Well, they can see it. I'm gonna take them for a ride on a swipe with Lucy. Pull it towards you so you can see it. Jeez, that's pretty amazing. Look at that blue diamond. <whistles> Babe, this is beautiful. She went bananas on this one, huh? Look at that. Y'all, that is just incredible. Obviously, I'm gonna have to pull it out this way to balance. Mm -hmm. So, I guess I can leave y'all on Lissy for that adventure. So, I'm gonna add a little bit more of this blue diamond because it's a lot more present in the other areas than it is right here. 
And I'm just gonna put a little line of it so that you can see it. And my handy dandy swipey paper. And I really like this organic situation I've got going on right there. So I'm not gonna disrupt that. I'm just gonna try to pull this area in particular over and down. Julie says, I want it. It is for sale. So rad. Put some heat on it and see what pops up. Carrie, she's using, she wants to know what you're using for your swipes. It's just some like wax paper that we cut down to perfect size. And obviously you guys can use any kind of like parchment paper, wax paper, butcher paper. Paper. Probably even <laughs> printer paper. But for the sake of getting into grooves that I may not be able to get into with bigger sizes, we just have them in a few different sizes so that, um, you know, you never know when you're gonna do a swipe. So in order to preemptive that, we have created these little bad boys and an in-between size, give up. And I was thinking about putting them on the website, but since you guys can do them yourself, you know? I don't know if that's something you guys would be interested in, but some people just don't want to do it. You know, they don't want to have to cut it down. I think so. Stone coat black goes under pigment and white is over the top. No. That, that she says no, Rick. <laughs> the base tints must be on the bottom to create this amazing structure. It, you cannot do it the other way around. In fact, I'll do it. I'll test it for you right now. Let me move this. I'll show you why. She gonna show you why. I'm pretty much digging this piece. Everybody's digging that piece, babe. Do you think this is too um, bulky in the center? I was looking at it, um, but it's kind of a... It, is it a good break from what's going on? I think so. Or I is think it it's distracting? Aw, just... oh, doink doink. Thanks, Rod. Thank look you very much. Thank you. Look at those. Just look at them. Look at it. Look at it in the eye. Look at it and lick it. Look at me. Here's to hoping that doesn't shift since it's a rebore. Okay. So we're gonna do. Demo. I'll just do it on this because it doesn't matter. All right. Board. Skateboard. Murder board. Murder board. So I'm just putting some resin down. I'm going to do half swiping over the base tents and half swiping 
the base tint over the other colors. So I'm gonna do this evenly over the whole surface so that there's no like question about it being an, a biased test. There's no reason why anybody should have any difficulties getting cells with this amazing base tint. So, I still have that clear too. We're gonna have to mix up a little bit more white. JJ used to say dynamite. <laughs> dynamite! What can I do for my waves? They just think. Shoot me a, an email with a picture and we'll dissect what's going on. They're all just saying, just look at that, look at that, look at that. What happens if you only use base tints? It'll... They react, the white and black react to each other. It'll just... It'll grow forever, she says. I didn't want them to give me the that's what she said. So, because of the properties of the base tints, there's nothing to stop the cells from growing until they ultimately just fall apart. So, you need to limit the amount of base tint you put in your resin and the amount of base tints you use next to each other. If you, for some reason, have a base tint a solid color and then a base tint on top of it, your cells won't develop because there's no surface tension because both sides of it match, if that makes any sense at all. I don't even know if that makes sense. It has to have surface tension for it to work. Yeah. Okay. So let's do... This is gonna be white over color, color over white. Everything's good, no. Everything's good. Everything's good. Thanks for watching out. Hmm. Let's put a little bit of that bronze in there just for the sake of argument's sake. And I'm putting it in between. Four ninety nine. All right. That's one of a kind. Thank you very much. So this one, I'm going to put the white over the color. Let's pop some bubbles real quick. And this board is slightly wonky. I put too much tint in, and they are firm but rubbery. Will a flood coat harden them? Yeah, yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> um, I don't know. What, uh... So there's one. I don't know. No, a lot of my color's running off. Um, I don't know. Um, that's a that's a good question. I would just maybe just do one of them, just to just to see. Okay. Look at that. There you go. That's the difference if you put white over versus the color over. You may want to take him on a Lucy ride. Lisa! Thank you, Lisa. Sippy, sippy. Tink. Tink. So, will you pull Lucy? I'm gonna go on a little ride. Magic carpet ride. So here you have it. This is the difference. This is with the white 
over the colors because typically with most pastes, you'd want the white to be on top because it's a density issue. Whereas with stone coat, you want the base tint to be on the bottom to create this kind of magic. It's because of the dispersion and science terms and other math. Hmm. It will also look like this if you put the tint on the bottom, then a color, and then the tint on top. It'll still pull this result instead of this one. Just make sure that your color goes over the base. And that goes for any of the base tints by Stone Under, Co. over. Under, over. And there's your lesson. I don't know what to do with this thing. Put it right now. So I've got resin left. Make some more of this color. Someone is having a serious argument outside. I don't think they're arguing. I just think they're just talking loudly. I don't put nothing like that on nobody else. I'd be surprised if they couldn't hear it through the screen. That's an argument. If I wasn't filming, I'd be in the window. Is this eavesdropping? She would be. All right, so I think I'm going to do this really quick because um, I hope she's got coasters. She's got coasters. In different area codes. Relevant. got invited to do a couple of different expos and shows and things so we're gonna need coasters for that Food is here. What? it's a record time for them <coughs> excuse me y'all okay y'all enough, enough. enough, enough. Moo. it's enough can you do a dirty pour with base tints? Um, yes. Do you use stone coat countertop for your coasters? Well, um, the art coat has a lot of the same properties as the countertop coat. The only difference is it's just a little bit less like durable in terms of like scratch resistance, but it's got the same heat resistance which is really all that matters when you're doing a coaster is that it can withstand heat because of like coffee and things like that. I kid you not, someone could bust the door in with a gun and thanks y'all. Um, I could have someone literally bust the door in, have a gun drawn, and as long as they didn't ring the doorbell, Cujo's not gonna bark at him. Or knock the door, knock on the door. That's the two things that he kind of loses his mind over.
Yeah. Figured. We'll do this drink experiment tomorrow, guys. My food just got here, and I don't want it to get cold. I hope you understand. And that way we can have a good video for tomorrow. Maybe we'll have my doorknob put on by tomorrow. <sighs> so frustrated that it didn't work. I've been waiting on this thing. What? The doorbell, I mean the doorknob. Yeah. I was so excited. B, I need you to read just for a second. We're eating some Zena. Thai food. Some Thai lo mein, some seagull rolls, some crispy, crispy spring rolls, shrimp tempura. Woo! Ooh, B. You spend money. Ooh, you could put all those and make one big swipe in a row and make them all cohesive. Oh, I could. Wow, that looks great. Well, I I'd like this one, that. so let's yeah, that's, pull this one that's aside. Awesome. So let's do a swipe with these guises. With these guises. Check this out, y'all. A little extra. That one's solid copper, <laughs> as is this one. And this one. Well. <laughs> well that's fun. They're selling out. I'm gonna put this one up. Uh, Linda, I would say I cook more. Um, she cooks every now and again. Uh, we like to cook on the grill. Um, That's on the roof. But I would say I cook more than she does. You cook more than I did before we moved here. That's true. Now it's been mostly me or a restaurant because we forget to eat. And then by the time we remember, we're like, nope, too hungry. Can't be bothered. Where are we going? You two are nuts. Thanks, Kelly Quincy. It's true. It's true. But I think that's why y'all love us. If we were regular, y'all would all get nosy. bored. We want to know what the people are talking about outside. <laughs> Y'all don't tempt me. I'll put my head out the window. Apparently, someone is a drunk ass. In my best Texas Southern accent, if you guys would mind mosey on over and hitting that thumbs up. Y'all. <laughs> At a tip of her cowboy hat, she would say thank you for hitting that thumbs up button. I'll tell you what. Good night, Lisa. She's really listening to their conversation right now. <laughs> it's too cute. Let's see here. Look at her over there. <laughs> I think they're just talking. I don't think they're arguing. He's just talking loud. Someone apparently was smoking and he was like, if you didn't want to, you made a conscious effort to don't. To don't do it. How does he know? How does Moon know? 
Y'all, that piece that I did before, setting up mighty fine, mighty, mighty fine. It's mighty fine, y'all. Yeah, the, most everything is pet friendly. A lot of them um, do not allow bully breeds, unless you say it's a mix. A lab terrier. A lab terrier. Take us to the window. Amy, I am going to announce the winner of the Beach Pour Mignana. I know it moves. I was going to tell them the ATD fam says, keep it down. But I don't want to get in on it. I don't know. Right, Kelly? So, I'm about to take Moo out. Jeff has already busted into the noodles. Noodles. Um, the new challenge, October is what awareness? It's pink, right? Isn't that breast cancer awareness? Thanks, Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Um, I think we're going to do the awareness. Oh, one second on that. Blue rubber. That's what we're going to be doing. To be honest, Robin, either would probably work for your... <laughs> so, this is Tuscan Teal. It might perfectly, it might be perfect actually, but let's look at the Egyptian blue. Yeah, I, I like Nebula too. So this is just basically a lighter version of, let me put you on Lucy, you can see it better. This is the Egyptian, it's like a lighter kind of cloudier version. Um, I think probably Tuscan Teal is going to be closer to what you're looking for. Robin. Navy and Indigo by what brand? Uh, Paula. Awesome, Jeff. I'm glad you love it. You're welcome for this sticker. We're going on the car. Woo woo. Woo woo. My pleasure, Julie. One kidney donated to science. Any brand. Indigo. one indigo and one navy branded that way from um, each brand hold on so this is the indigo it's a little bit more purple than what's showing on camera it is a metallic this one's by just resin and then I have navy by um, artisu that's a true true navy it's super thick and pigmented. Absolutely, Judy. I know, Just Resin's Indigo is very nice. Absolutely, Cindy. The navy is non-metallic. B. Oh, sorry, that's blurry, y'all. Anyways, I gotta go take Moo out because he's for real doing that. I'm seriously gonna appear on your feet dance. I know it, Moo. And also, I'm hungry. So, if you have any more questions or need um, a picture of anything, shoot me an email, thornetartistaldeath.com. Two T's, two L's. And, um, 
Robin, you say you wanted the Tuscan teal. I will absolutely send you an invoice for this. I don't know what else. Thinking about food now. And also, my little boy is jumping around. So, thank you all so much for tuning in. I will see all of you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place. And I should have the winners of the Ocean Pour enough picked out for you guys. So, till then, be kind to one another. We love you all. Bye.